Hey guys, um, I haven't really done an update on the Ranger in a while, so I figured I would. I'll do some updates on the, of what I did to it, and just updates on things that, that, uh, yeah, well, First off, you can probably tell that I got a ra I got a radio. I got a little Kenwood that came out of the part Celica. And then I found my old XM satellite radio and it works perfectly. Antenna's sitting right there. Um, I took the tachometer off because it didn't work. Um, and yeah, let me let's pop the hood. I did re I did rebuild the uh, well I rewired or whatever you want to call it the, the choke. So let me um I'm gonna pop the hood. She's nice and warm, so she'll just start up right away. Um, here's the the ignition system is doing really well, as you can see in the. Video recently, I did replace the uh, distributor. I mean, not distributor. The uh, I did have to re replace the distributor because the vacuum advance stopped working. So it was throw my uh, so the actual cart, the carriage that the uh, the the uh, whatever you call it, the rotor that was on, was just flying around. So I did have to replace that at some point. But I have replaced this, which I did in the video. The spark plugs are 50 over. Meaning, uh, that's the gap. Um, f nice fuel, gl glass fuel filter. The only reason I did this was because I needed a way to be able to see if fuel was getting in here. Whenever that was, uh, when that wasn't working. I actually, I actually replaced the fuel pump. Um, so it's got the, in it's got the inline. And it's also got the, uh, the carburetor, fi uh, filter. I got a new battery, went to uh, Advanced Auto and got a Die Hard, because my interstate finally died, because I left the headlights on. Um, there's a breather element right there, because there's no PCV valve. Um, the cable clutch has been rerouted. Um, spark plug wires are brand new, and uh, yeah, that's really about it underneath the hood. Um, it does have some sort of leak. I don't really know where this is coming from. I'm pretty sure it's just residual bullshit that's coming from somewhere. But it's not running poorly. It's not leaking oil. Not doing anything. So I don't care. This motor's coming out soon. Well, hopefully soon. So, yeah. Um, same carburetor. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to start her up. But I'm going to put my truck... But, but I'm going to put the camera next to the exhaust. Because she's got a nice glass pack. Oh. I also took the uh, bed liner cover or tailgate cover off, and that's the original color, right there. So it's it was a nice color. <clears throat> now I'm gonna turn the uh, put the camera right next to the exhaust, which is a two and a half inch glass pack. The um, catalytic converter has been hollowed out, so. Let me see if I have anything in my truck. Okay. I'm gonna mount y'all on, on that. I am gonna use my rag to get traction for it. Okay. I don't really care if it looks like ass, but I want y'all to be able to see the exhaust whenever it goes up. There we go. So, yeah, and then I just got a downpipe.
you kind of got a little flooded from the, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, sitting there cold, like sitting there cold, hot, hot soaking. And yeah, my brake cylinders on the back are blown. Well, the passenger side is anyway. So I have had to do that, but I plan on getting the brakes replaced soon by myself. So, but uh, she's sitting nice and quiet. That squeak is the throw out bearing. XM works perfectly. Basically just two dash speakers. Show you the motor. So yeah. This is kind of the way I tune my truck. Is the mirror shaking, and do I feel any very much vibration in the in the body? And is the shifter shaking like crazy? It is not. Oh, this happened. I pulled the floor out, and this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm using a General Motors floor pan or floor mat. It works, it's better than nothing. So, but yeah, truck's running really good.
So yeah, that's the Ford Ranger. That squeaky sound and also that little tick is this the the tick was the uh, was the uh, was a clutch and the tick is the um, clutch. The squeak is the clutch. The 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 tick that you you heard that may be may sound like rod knock, but it's not. That's the lifter tick. But these and the motors are notorious for being terribly loud in that area so yeah and the only way to really do it is to rebuild the, the top end of the motor meaning the valves and the lifters and rocker arms and stuff like that and I'm not doing that because this motor's coming out soon my brother should be giving me the his the 5.0 from the Crown Victoria soon and uh yeah oh this video is sponsored by Red Bull they give me wings, and they also give me all the money I want in the world to be able to, f to f so I can put all the mo Mobile One, I'm also sponsored by Mobile One, uh, fully synthetic 15W50 motor oil. They're paying me $1,000 every time I say that. So Red Bull's giving me a million dollars every time I say Red Bull. So I'm going to say that a few times in every video now. And Mobile One's giving me $100,000 Every time I sponsor their every single time I say 15W50 Mobile One Fully Synthetic, or even just Mobile One. So, if you don't like sponsored videos, you can go and give this button, give this video a like. So, yeah. But I, but on the serious side, I do need to get a sander and just completely sand this bed down because it is getting rusty. I need to sand it and then spray some shit on it just to clean it up. So. Yeah, there's a little bit of holes in the bed, but mainly like over there, so you can see like right there, and some randomly like there's a patch right here, but it's no big deal. It's still a bed. I'm just gonna sand it and then probably put something over it to uh, to keep it from busting, and then for like the little holes in the bed, like right there, if you can see it, I skip my hand in comparison so you can actually see it. I'm probably going to cut this out and then just put a nice piece of sheet metal there and weld that in. So, yeah. But other than that, the truck's been running really damn good. The XM works perfectly, though that it's hooked up to the cigarette lighter. But the cool thing is that the, the XM does not pull power. Does not pull power whenever it's turned off or unplugged. So that makes it, that makes it pretty safe for the battery. So, yeah. And then, on top of that, the bat, the clock that came with the truck, which is right here, which I wish still worked, but it kept pop popping out, and then I just kind of got annoyed and ripped it right out. Since I didn't have a clock, the Kenwood acts as a clock. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. I used to, I had the antenna in the, on the bed, since, I mean, the dash, because it was, it's, the dash is metal. But it kept cutting in and out, and the reflection kept deflecting the satellite signal. So I had to end that. So, yeah. It runs pretty good. Oh, as you can see, I got a seat cover. It's got pockets, pockets, pockets. And then there, this pocket right here houses my iPod. So, which is halfway. But... That doesn't battery on that thing doesn't matter because when it's hooked up, it actually is just doing the iPod because I can have it hooked up to the USB port and it'll charge and sync and run stuff off. So I can, it's double whammy. So yeah, I just wanted to do an update on the Ranger since I haven't in a while. So yeah, and hopefully soon I can get a uh, um, new tires and everything. I may end up buying some. Oh, nice! I step. I rolled in. Uh, I can only assume is uh, electric tape. Yeah, that's definitely electric tape. 
that was probably in the I was probably at the driveway, but I'm gonna get rid of these nasty old tires because they're pretty bad, and they're trailer tires too. Say for trailer service only. Mm. So that kind of makes me a, a trailer trash. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be changing the tires, especially since this thing's gonna have a lift kit. Um, I think it's two or three inch body lift, and then maybe a uh, four to four to six, depending on what kit I can get, a four to six uh, suspension lift, and then that is not even that's not even taking into consideration the the tire lift that I'll be getting. So. So yeah, this thing is going to be pretty fucking tall, and it's going to be sexy as fuck. But um, I do plan on repainting it. I don't like the yellow. Not because I don't like the color yellow, but the paint job is just really bad. The fenders are nice. My brother was pointing that, that out, my other brother. He was pointing out the fenders are paint, paints pretty damn good, but everything else is pretty bad in terms of like, like if you look at the, if you look at right here, it's soft and then it gets kind of rough in certain areas and that's kind of like right here mainly it's really fucking rough though that it's you may think it's dirty it's because it was dirty but no it's not so yeah but it's whatever i'm gonna paint it the same color my uh my grandfather's ranger was his ranger is the same was the same age as me 95 well technically it was a year older but whatever but uh But yeah, and then um, and then uh, and then after that, uh, she's just gonna be fine. I'm gonna, I am gonna have a bed, the bed, redone professionally, because I want the, I'm gonna have a bed liner sprayed in here, and I'd rather have that done by a shop, mainly for the fact that they'll have all the, like a certified type of thing. I'm also gonna have a shop do the paint because if it. If it starts cracking or whatever like it did right here even though this is expected for like a trailer park kind of paint job even though the people that bought it from were not trailer park they're they're awesome people really really nice country folk but um but it just sort of peeling off and I, and I was able to easily get that off whenever I was rebuilding the starter for the third time <laughs> but uh but yeah I had to get a I, whenever I was rebuilt, I did rebuild the starter because the starter went bad again. But rebuilding starters is not is not hard. It's really easy, especially once you do, do it several times. But brake parts cleaner took most of this right off. So, and then that was what made me want to take that off because that looks amazing. Just the body color alone. So yeah, I love this truck. It's super fun to drive. I've, I've squealed and spun the tires out several times. It's that much fun. And it's just a hell of a car to drive. What's that? Probably some, yeah, some sun bleach uh, receipt. But yeah, it's running really damn good. So, she's got like, uh, I wanna say four or five cans of Behrman's in the tank. And the reason I did that was to just kind of clean the carburetor a little bit to dissolve some bullshit. Not that I was having issues, but just to kind of do that just for the hell of it, to be honest. And also, it, um, my friend uh, uh, Adam's Restoration on YouTube, he, um, he said it would make it run really rich. He did it to another car, but it didn't have any of those type of side effects with my truck. But honestly, I kind of did that because he said, to, he said it would run rich because... Um, it would kind of help with cleaning a little bit of stuff because it's not really running rich per se. It's cleaning, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, because it would be cleaning a lot of the top end of the motor, like the valves and, and a little bit of the carbon bullshit because this is a 37-year-old car. And that, from the previous owners, they said that that rolled over like two times. So it's probably got 200 or 390, 2,000. So, yeah. But yeah, oil gauge, oil temp, oil uh, light comes on whenever it's super cold, but then immediately goes off. Gas gauge doesn't work. Battery gauge works, and the temperature gauge does not work because temperature gauge was deleted in replace of that. 
I got a mechanical, but I also need to wire up, whoa, I also need to wire up my, uh, mechanical oil, oil gate, oil pressure gauge. So, yeah, oh, oh, also, this car does, this truck does not have a heater, doesn't have AC, doesn't have power steering, doesn't have any kind of emissions crap, because I live in Georgia, um, I'm kind of, I would like to move to Texas, to be honest, I love Texas, and that's where a lot of my family is, so, yeah, and that's one of my plans is I want to go to a slow, solo trip to Disney, because I've always wanted to do that, as well as a, uh, uh, solo trip, like, in this thing, to Texas, to go see my family, so, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, other than that, the truck runs really good, I'm going to keep doing updates, so, yeah, oh, Another thing I forgot to say is my door lock broke, meaning I can't lock it from the inside or unlock it from the inside. So I, that happened by accident, but I'm honestly kind of happy about it because it keeps me from locking my keys in the truck. So though that that side works, but the inside handle does not work. So yeah. But yeah, other than that, the truck's running really good. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything. And uh, yeah, I may do another driving video soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. I honestly don't know when, but uh, but yeah. Oh, also, I, I am planning on going to Harbor Freight and getting a train horn. Maybe, depending on how much money I can spend on a train horn. Because, yeah, <laughs> I do need a horn. So... Cause I almost got hit or not hit someone actually almost pulled out in front of me and and uh, I needed a horn to be able to tell them to get the fuck out of my way and also I almost hit a dog that was in the fucking road but luckily I didn't he just stared at me and I read my engine he got scared so yeah that's the end of the video and thanks for watching